All right, my friend. I've uh, been doing a lot of thinking today about how to pull this off. Uh, got the chord book out, was doing some references on two finger chords and how we might set this up. Thinking about you know how people play and the action of your hand. So, you know, people with a normal hand play like this. The pinch motion is like this, and they have a back to you know to uh, to press against, right? In your situation, the motion is like this, right? It's reversed because you don't have these three or your thumb. So the pinky to the base of the thumb is what we're working with, right? So in watching you play from the top down, I'm like, well, I think you can do a chord by pressing the So my idea is that we need to create a platform for your hand so that you can rest it and play this way instead of have the support back here, you have the support on the top. And then the other thing I was thinking about is extend, you know, making this bigger, okay, and creating a little bit more string space here so that when you come down with the fleshy part of your hand, you don't hit any extra strings you're able to to get that four string and make and hit the note cleanly also instead of having the fingerboard flat this uh, four string is going to be kind of set off at an angle so your your fretboard will not be flat it'll have it'll have a certain degree built in here and maybe a little bit scalloped up here so that you're, or I should say radius, so that you're able to come down and play a chord like this, you know. I was thinking about maybe doing a, 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 a key thing where you come here and press the back and have a, a mechanical key come down. But I think, you know, doing some, uh, you know, some um, ergonomics on this on this neck to make it, you know, to think through the process of how you would play and then experiment with some necks here. The other thing I was thinking too is this this is not real conducive for sliding or anything like that. This is in your way. So a couple of things could be done there. You could run a hidden fifth. So it would run, you know, it would tunnel the fifth string and would go under here and we could put it up here. Okay. Then you'd have five keys up here and nothing in your way down here. Or the other option is to uh, do a longer scale, you know, and then you don't have that. You have more room to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven down here. You know, the standard scale, the the, the fifth strings at the fifth fret, and the longer scale is at the seventh fret. And that's going to be plenty. I mean, I don't even play down here, you know. Um, you can play hundreds of songs in this with these frets right here. So, um, and by the way, I'm going to re-neck this banjo. So this will be your banjo right here. I'm going to take this neck off, and I'm going to create this neck. I'll probably run through some um, prototypes with just 2 by 4s to see about getting the angle right. And um, I guess we'll just go from there. But I think it's going to be doable. So um, more soon.